Yeah, greetings. We want to talk about this idea of Jamaica and its independence. Them going to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Jamaican independence from 1962 to now, 60 years. And also, what we say the government choose to do is bring some of the family of Queen Elizabeth here, not only to validate their crown, crownship in Jamaica, but to tell us that it's 70 years since the Queen, Queen Elizabeth is, 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 is Queen of England. And also, we must recognize that England is still the main factor in Jamaica's political affair, even though it don't seem that way. But we have a head of state, which is not the prime minister. The first lady of Jamaica is not the prime minister's wife. It is the governor general's wife. The Governor General is representing the Queen in Jamaica. Now the question has always been asked, if Jamaica is independent, why is it that we have a Governor General representing the Queen? Because we are a part of the Commonwealth, and you know the Commonwealth was set up by the British. Ironically, we are supposed to be part of British subjects, yet we have to have a visa for go to England. No. As I speak, the family is here in Jamaica. And with some things taking place that we have to really wonder if the people them really cuckoo or something. Because what is happening now is that the government has allowed this family that has created all these atrocities, not only of Jamaica, but most of the world. The robbing and rape, raping and pillaging village of people's land and the people is indelible engraved in their history. And we recognizing that as Rastafari say, it's time it's done. We need for them to apologize and also to pay reparation. And when we say reparation, it don't must have to be money, but reparation in cash our kind. And that is something that the Queen seemed to not understand him because she herself said that at the time of slavery, it was a legal thing in England. So there's no law that can tell her that she's doing something unlawful. In Jamaica, we see the government of Jamaica is perpetuating the same madness by talking about the Crown land. How is it that these land that have nothing to do with Queen Elizabeth is the Crown land still? Why is it that the parliament is run like the parliament in England, where you have a mace that represents the presence of Britain in the mace, and they swear to Queen Elizabeth and her successors still in this so-called independent country? I think it is time that Jamaican people look at what is taking place. Look at how we are seeing ourselves. The constitution of Jamaica was not put together by Jamaican people. It was Buster Manti and Norman Manley who went to England and was given that constitution to govern the people and without the people and authority. And we recognizing this, say, no, this is not independence. This is not independence because you're still calling the people who do have no land squatter. Squatter means, say, you know, when I was a child and I used to say a woman a squat, it means she had been long on a people. Now we hear them call people squatter because they don't have no land. Land is power. If you don't have any land, you don't have any power. And that is what freedom is all about. Freedom must be accompanied with land. When the Africans were said to be freed, they never was, them wasn't given any land. Because the same land that they was going up and down was back from master land. So anywhere them go, they was trespassing and land. In America, the slaves was promised 40 acres and a mule. Up to this day, no 40 acres and no mule has come to them. So we are in the same dilemma, even though we claim independence. And this puppet government that we have here, under one of the youngest prime ministers ever take power in Jamaica, is one of the worst, or one of the best puppets for America 
that we can really see. So we just have to tell the people them, look into yourself and tell me if your situation in Jamaica as a normal Jamaican is better in past 10 years or 20 years. I read. Well, let me hear you say, my auntie, my